Well, welcome back to spiritmusicmeetups.org, a great website, not just for drummers, but anointed, prophetic, spontaneous music. And this video is 22 PWG, 22 minutes playing with God, being like a little child to enter the kingdom of God, to see the kingdom of God, to experience it. And what we're doing here is exploring a really cool rudiment um, by the Spirit of God, by revelation. It's anointing, revelation, prophetic, and it's something you ask, seek, and knock for. And that's what I've been doing for a couple days now. And I'm going to share that with you, and you can do that for yourself. I call this video Leaps of Joy with Lesson 25. And they call it Lesson 25, it's a rudiment that the National Association of Rudimental Drummers, NARD, uh, it was the number 25 uh, rudiment in their list of 26 Standard American Drum Rudiments, S-A-D-R. And it came from six books, this whole list, six books that they compiled this list of rudiments, building blocks for drummers. And they pulled from an 1869 book by Struber, and it's a wonderful book, and they pulled that one rudiment out, and, it, and they used that one rudiment. They didn't have a name for it, so they called it Lesson 25. But later on... People gave it a, a term called compound strokes. Don't ask me where that came from. This is a compound stroke. Any, any, any uh, complex, anything more than a simple stroke is a compound stroke. So that's, those are flams. Those are compound strokes. Drags or dragged roughs. Drag roughs. A rough is, you know, like that, and it's drag, so it's a drag rough. Or half drag, but some people called it ratatat. That's in a, a book called by Brubank, and they call that a ratatat. Now that kind of makes sense because ratamacu, ratamacu, rat, rat is a kind of a drag, rat, and so there's the drag, a, uh, ma. So you could go ratama, ratamacu. Well, they call it rat-a-tap. And it's not really a tap. It's an accent. Rat-a-tap. 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 It's just like drag uh, or drag accent. It's really, they call it drag-tap. 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 But it's really not a tap. It's an accent. So don't get uh, hung up on these names. I guess you got to have to know them if you're going to go through school and prove that you're, you're studied. So they have different names for it. Ratatap, ratatap. You could call it uh, ratama, and then the Q, ratama Q, ratama. Um, I have my own naming for it, but why did I call it leaps of joy? That comes from a Greek word meaning uh, skirtao, skirtao. It looks like the word skirt. Ao is a verb form. It has kind of the same meaning of skip, like you're skipping the joy. You see little kids skip. They are just love to, to run and skip. That's what we should feel like when we're in here in the drum room. There's no better place to be uh, in, than in the presence of God, experiencing the music he created. I mean, believe me, he is a master, and you are discovering it, asking, seeking, and knocking. So there's great rewards coming. What do I mean by that? There's a, a real famous verse that Jesus was talking to his disciples that were undergoing great persecution and would all die for the faith. And he said, you know, you should leap with joy, skirtao, because great is your reward. Wait until you see what is coming your way. Because you stood up for me under persecution. They all went to their death for the sake of what they experienced, what they witnessed. Firsthand, I mean, resurrection. Here's, you know, Easter is tomorrow. 
he uh, so a lot was done in three days. He preached to the captives in Hades, and a lot of people got set free and walked on the earth, and people saw resurrected dead. And then he ascended into heaven in front of 500 people. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, so, skip with joy. That's the way I feel, leaping with joy. Skirtao, for great is your rewards. There's a lot of great rewards coming for those who have faith. Faith just means trust. Uh, pistis. Pistis. The noun pistuo is the verb. It means to have a relational trust. You can't trust in a thing. Uh, you can trust in a person. You give your car keys to somebody who you really trust. So let's look at this uh, lesson 25. Let's look at the technique for playing this. It's really three single stroke rolled. Those are the single strokes. I kind of think this is a three stroke rough. Now we can come up with many different countings for that, but let's look at the first part. It's a non accent. We're going to keep the accent on the end like they do, but we'll talk about moving the accent. So it's, it's a half non accented drag. So make sure you can, you know, drag your rough. So I'm doing the drag, and that's a rough, or half drag, or drag. People come up with different names for everything. Make sure you can do a half, halfway high. So I just call this high, medium, low. So this is a medium, a medium height. So maybe, you know, work on that. Then work on adding a left hand. Now that's a drag tap, a rudiment called the drag tap. And I have a, a video on that. Drag tap, drag tap, drag tap. Get back into position. Now, of course, they like to add an accent, make the tap an accent. Drag tap, drag tap, drag tap. But here we didn't because we're going to move the accent over here. So now we add one more stroke. Drag, tap. Accent, drag, tap, accent. So I got to get my right hand up as soon as I get a chance so it can come down here. So I'm going to go drag and I move right into position, tap. And so it's moving into position and you're buying time to move from here to here while your left hand plays. So it's in a position, drag, tap. See how I went right up to where I need to be. And then when I finish, I go right back to where I need to be. I'm going to watch what I'm doing. See how I have a piece of tape right in the middle? See, I'm right back into position. So I'm getting right back into position. So I come down. And I go right back into position. Work the other side. Now I don't want to go all the way up. I want to go back into position. See how I do that? You got to really focus and just work on one side until you get the hang of it. And then we'll see if you can alternate. Da -da 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 -da. You get into position. See how I got my hand into position? Da -da -da -da. And it stays down because the left hand has to get into position. So you go to da -da -da. It Now it stays down and this gets into position. See how I switch? But I don't go all the way up. So you got to take your time, really think about what you got to do. Da, so I go, da, da, da. Now I'm in the position. Da, 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 da. Take your time. So really get your hands exactly right when you're playing slow. 
That's called slow and inform. I did a lot of martial arts, and the sensei was always telling us to do things slow and inform. Get your your block right where it needs to be, right there, not here, not there, not up here, right there. You know, bam. Okay, so I blocked it. You know, so he was very particular. You have to be when you go slow, and then you can you're creating muscle memory. You don't want to practice mistakes. So you don't want to practice something that shouldn't be. You don't want to drill it in. So get it right and then gradually speed it up. You know, be patient with yourself. Don't rush forward and then drill in mistakes. This is really bad. You need to be patient, okay? Just take it very calmly and focus on every single step. Use a lot of concentration in the beginning. See, we went one side and repeat it, and then you can work the other side and repeat it. Now, there's a lot on here, and I'm going to try to put this down in the description. We might have to do this in several videos. There's many ways to count this, uh, and I'm not doing the music notation. You can see that out in other websites. I think counting is more important than just seeing music notes. One E and, and there's going to be a pause here. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and, so I'm going to pause. So that's one E, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, see there, pause. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. And then work the other side. You could shift it over. I'm just putting the counting over here for either one of these. And put a foot on the one and then play e and a. So you could play a bass drum. I'm just going to stick or hi-hat. Let me stick a hi-hat. So I'm going to go one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. So I'm putting the one there. Or you can do a bass drum, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. I'm hitting the rim. That's something down here we talked about moving the accents, moving the accents out to something. Back here, forward. That's like being on a drum set. So it, playing on a practice pad will train you to play on the drum set. And you can play on a practice pad, pad a lot longer because your ears aren't getting overwhelmed by sound. Plus it has a really nice bounce. You can work on your technique. So I love my practice pad. This off-world practice pad is really awesome. It has the feel of a field drum. And so it has a really nice, and, it's, and again, it's quiet on your ears, so you don't have to wear filters. Here, we're going to put a little space in here and play gal upping. One and a. This is trotting horse. One e and. We're gonna go galloping. One and a. Two and a. So it's a little different spacing. One, right? And get into position. And a. One and a. Two and a. One and a. Two. Now that means I have to get my hand down really quick at the end of the ah, uh, because there's no space there. This had a space, this doesn't have space. So I gotta get that down. One E, I ease the space, right? And a, uh. and then there's no space, so I gotta get right back into position. One E and a, uh. uh-oh, one E, no, there's no E. One E and a, uh. two, two E, Two E and a uh. three E. I want to play on that E. See, it's, mistakes are okay. One, don't drill them in though. Stop when you make a mistake. One E and a uh. two E and a uh. three E and a uh. four E and a uh. one E. Oh, one E. See, I sped up too fast. Got to be patient with yourself. One E and up. Uh. Two E and up. Uh. Three E and up. Uh. 
four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a. So once you go from counting the left brain, move over to the right brain by singing it. Ra, a, a, ra, and a, ya, a, da, ya, da, da, rat, a, a, tat, rat, a, tat, rat, a, tat, rat, and, right, a, tat, rat, 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 a, tat. It's right here. This has a space, one E and is the rest. So we're going to put a rest right here. So we're going to go, now that's playing on the E. One E and, that gives us time to get this up. A, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E, a, uh, four E, a, uh, one E, a, uh, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e a two e and a three e and a four e and a so that's cool these are triplets one e a uh, two e a uh, triple a triple it so now we're gonna go one e a uh, two e a uh, so i slur it out Drag it out. One e a uh, two e a uh, three e a uh, four e a uh, one e a uh, two e a uh, three e a. Uh. It's like jazz and blues. E a uh, two e a uh, three e a uh, four e a. Uh. Ya da da ya da da. Rat a tap, 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 rat a tap. Drag a ma, 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 drag a ma. Radama, 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 rada. Go to the other side. But you could shift it over. You could go e a uh, two, like your. And there you go. One. So you might want to have. Know where the beat is. One e a uh, two two is where the foot goes. One e a uh, two e a uh, one. E a uh, two e a uh, three e a uh, four e a uh, one e a uh, two e a uh, e a uh, four e a. Uh. So, see what's happening? Our foot is right on the beat. So you're leading into the beat. Boy, this is tricky. A uh, one e. So now you're surrounding the beat. A uh, one e. So the accent is on the E. A uh, one E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a uh, one E and a uh, two E. It's very tricky, so you want to put the foot right there. You might want to start right there. And I put a star there, and that means like start, put your foot there, start there. So that means start on the left. One, one E, right? One E, ya two E, ya three E, ya four. So you learn how to point that hand down. Boy, we are going to have to do multiple videos. So I'm learning how to point this down so I don't accidentally play it too loud. Point it down where the foot is. You know, you want to go bam where the foot is, but this is to train you to play ghost notes. So I'm stomping my foot. So I'm walking. Right? That's a little trick. And you can even do 16 note triplets. One da da, one e e, and a a. One e. So it's one e e, yanda a, two e e, yanda a, three e e, yanda a. Or one da da and a one da da and da da two da da and da da three da da. Yeah. So there's, you know, the and there's that's the eighth note. You're breaking it into one e e and a uh, two e e and a uh, three e e and a uh, one da da 
One da da yan da da two da da yan da da one da da. So that's trickier. Sixteen note triplets. So we're coming up on the end here. There's the ratamacue. Rat a ma. Rat a ma. Rat a ma cue. Rat a ma cue. Rat a ma cue. Rat a ma cue. Rat a ma. 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 So this helps you with the rat a ma cue. And you know you can see the rat a ma cues are often counted in triplets. One e e and. One e e and. Two e e and. Or and a a two. Yanda a two, yanda a three, yanda a four. And that's why I said you could use 16 note triplets for this piece, the lesson 25. And here is that eighth note triplet version of it. One e a two, three e a four, one e a two, three e a four. And that's why you can use eighth note triplets really well with lesson 25. One e a, two e a, three e a, four e a, one e a, two e a, three e a, four e a. Now, we are going to talk a little bit about accents. I think I want to do a whole nother video for getting into this. This is normally, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's start with another video, and we'll get into all this other stuff in the next video. Let's talk about, right now, one, two, and three sounds. We talked about moving the accents. So here's one sound, one E and, two E and, just playing it on one sound, one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one E and, two E and. So I'm kind of singing my counting. That gets my left brain starting to move over to my right brain. Here's two sounds. One E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one E and, and then switch. Two E and, three E and, two and, one E and, two E and. There's my alternating. Well, that's a two sound effect which is great for drum set beats right hand on a cymbal hi-hat or a ride cymbal but a three sound and we talked about moving the accents one e and two e and three e and four e and Mo learn how to move backwards for rim shots on a snare drum and out to a tom tom or to the side for a low tom high tom Learn how to go around your drum set. Same with here, moving to the left. One E and, two E and, three E and. There's the high tom. Two E and, three E and, four E and. I'm going over to the hi hat. One E and. Some people have a low tom right by their hi hat. And that's uh, kind of based on the idea of symmetry. Whatever you have on your right side, you have on your left side. And that's uh, something that. I think Gary Chester in New Breed talks a lot about. One E and two E. Okay? So what about three sounds? Well, you can have two sounds and then a third sound for the accents. You can go one E and. One E and two E and three E and four E and one E and two E and three E and four E and. So now we got four sounds. See how that works? One E and, there's three sounds. E and, a different sound for that accent. So now we got four sounds. So I lied. Ooh, oh, that was bad. So you can be moving your hands out to unique sounds for your accents and then keeping your, your jazz beat, your beat, whatever beat it is you're doing. So we've gone long enough and Remember, stay sk skirt. I like this skirt. Skirting along, you know, you're kind of skirting. You're kind of moving along. You're skirting. You're skipping. That's another good way to think of it. And um, I'm telling you, 
I wish I could do this all day. There's a lot of responsibilities in life. And uh, the thing is, the Lord told me that, and you know, he told me, you got to start your day out right. It's how you start a race that really oftentimes determines the outcome of the race. If you start too late, everybody's way ahead of you. And if you start too soon, you skip the gun, you know, you get disqualified. So he says, you need to go into your drum room and you need to experience my joy. You need to experience me. You need to start out in the present and learn how to get filled with the Spirit right there. Start out your day. And uh, hearing from God and asking God and seeking and knocking and then receiving. I get so much here and I'm filled with joy. And then you can move on to the other tasks and responsibilities. Um, otherwise, you get it upside down and you just live by tasks and responsibilities. Then that's that whole earn that we talked about. You can have joy in the journey. But if you take the joy out of the word journey, you just end up with an urn full of ashes. You feel all dried up like you've been cremated and, and all your ashes are in that urn. And you're just going from task to task to task, responsibilities, nose to the grindstone, you know, bleeding everywhere, you know, that nose on the grindstone, blood splattering everywhere. And that's the way you feel, see. So God said, no, that's not the way. You got to start out in the spirit. And that's like worship, you know, feeling, you know, feeling the Lord's presence. And that is, you know, worship kissing, being, adoring him, feeling grateful for what he's showing you, then you can walk in that through the day. Just walk in that. And the tasks will take care of themselves. There's enough trouble, Jesus said, in every day. Don't take it into the next day. There's enough trouble every day. There's enough tasks, enough responsibility. But walk in the Spirit, and you won't be stressed about it. You'll just take it. You'll just flow with it. Okay, because the living water is a flowing water. Go with the flow of the Holy Spirit. I'm really learning about this. We're all learning about this. Hopefully, we'll learn together at Spirit Music Meetup. So comment out there on the page. Share what you're learning on this video. Share with others. Get Spread these around so other people can learn um, from the Lord, from you um, in the body of Christ. I don't see a lot of drummers doing this. Um, I watch a lot of videos. It's all technical. But uh, skill comes from the Lord. So I've gone long enough. Thank you very much for your patience. Check out the next video. This is part one. The next one's part two. Thanks. Bye-bye.